三大风啊！李老周 ，Mr. Horse ready go any minute now. All right, horse will be ready in a second. Singh has a sick cousin he has to take care of? Yeah, he's lucky, I reckon. Hey, you ain't got another sick cousin you can loan me, have you? Yeah, what I'd like to know is how do you get your cousin to send the telegrams just at the right time? Just lucky. Maybe Hap Singh get job in Sacramento, find boss, not yak yak all time when cousin's sick. <laughs> <laughs> John, I'm fine. <laughs> there you go, brother. Hey, by the looks of this weather, it's liable to get a little wet. Well, we've been wet before. Joe, I hope this uh, new cook, this Griffin, I hope he's dependable. Uh, he swears he is. I told him to put the supplies on our bill. He said he'd be here 6 o'clock tomorrow morning with a wagon provision ready to go. And well, that should put you in Beaver Flats before sundown. Be a lot of us there ready to eat. We'll be there. Just make sure you got a hot supper for us. Don't worry about it. If you're not there, I'll eat it myself. Yeah, I'm ready. Take care. I'm saying you take it easy. Have a good trip, huh? You be good boy, little Joe. Don't worry. Say hello to your cousin for me. All right. Hang out. Hey-ya! Easy now, easy. E easy, easy, easy. Oh, now easy. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. easy. That's easy. That's easy. That's just a little light and thunder. Come on. That's it. Come on. Oh, that's easy. 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 easy.
still there. At least not yet, anyway. You mean tell me you folks ain't got most of them rounded up? It's the weather. Made them stick a little deeper in the brush. Uh, mainly, though, I figure we ought to save some chasing for you and Joe. I figures. Better get back to camp before that storm breaks. You're losing your taste for the great outdoors. I ain't never had no taste for the outdoors, never claimed I did. That's my little brother. He just thrives on cold weather. Oh, is that so? I didn't know that. Yeah. Probably go barefooted in the blue norther. A blue norther? Ah, that's hard to believe. No harder to believe than most of the sour grapes I've been listening to. No, huh? sour grapes it is all right. Yeah, sure. She sounds good to me. No, I'm dog tired. I'm gonna get me some shut eye. <coughs> I wish I was the one back there waiting for that cook. Warm fire and a hot toddy. <laughs> Be laughing like a pup eating birds. <laughs>
drinking, boy. What did you do that for? Couldn't get you awake. You had too much to drink. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with having a drink with an old friend. Not if it's one drink. You cost us six hours. Likely that job with the Cartwrights. <sighs> Blast you, boy. You, you talk just like your ma. If I ever get myself dry, you're gonna wish you never seat no more water. But, Pa, I... Don't butt paw me. You get that team hitched up. You're all fired anxious about this job. <sighs> That's all. You see, I told you we'd be too late. Cut out your jabbering and get on down and check the barn. Take our place. Yep, team.
Here's the flats, and this is where we're supposed to meet them. Ain't nobody been through here. That's right. Appears like we made it in plenty of time. 
expecting me to wait here? Well, why not? Because the longer that drive is without hot meals, the likelier they're going to find someone to provide them. That's why. Boy, you are bound and determined to rile me, ain't you? Pa, there ain't no way we can miss a whole herd. All we got to do is move north. Chances are, they'll be so glad to see us, they won't even be mad over you being late. So help me. If we miss that herd, Ma or no Ma, you're going to stay home next time. Yeah. Out to bring in the water at night. Jarky, same as breakfast. Oh, shuck it. Probably? Yeah. yeah. You sure were right, Candy. It's slow going. Well, they keep at it. We should be able to move them out before dark. Mm. No, never mind. We'll get an early start in the morning. Hey, uh, hey, what happened to that wagon, anyhow? Well, I mean, if we're going to be here all night, I'd uh, sort of like to start the day out on something a little more substantial than jerky. I mean, like steak and eggs. Well, Joe knows we're late. He's probably on his way. He's liable not to come all the way. I, I think I'll go ride and see if I can find him. All right. Hey, I'm not too fond of this jerky myself.
us wagons aside for sore eyes. That is, if you're the cook my little brother hired. You see, I told her we'd find him. Hush up, boy. Well, I am if your name be Cartwright. That's right, Hoss. You must be Griffin. Yeah. Abrams, this here's my boy Tim. Hi. Hi, how are you, young man? Uh, where's little Joe, anyhow? Well, well we, uh, we kind of miss connections, you know, so I come on without him. Well, he'll catch up with us sooner or later. But let's get you rolling right now. I don't want to be late for supper. <laughs> All right. Take him out. Want some more of these ham hocks? Oh, no, no. Well, there's plenty more in the pot. No, no, thanks, all filled up. Uh, Mr. Cartwright? Oh, no, no more for me, thank you. Thank sure you. was good. Well, I'll tell you, my little brother made no mistake when he put you on the job. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Here you go. Watch it now, it's hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, he made a mistake somewhere. He's not here. Sorry you missed connections. Oh, no, sir. We didn't miss anything. We got to the house. You Hush up, Tim. I didn't know you'd come by the house. Well, Pa didn't want to know he was late on We the... just... We was only a couple, two or three hours late. Your, your boy just went on ahead of us, that's all. You sure about that? I mean, that's all he had to do was hang around there and wait for you. Well, well now, there, there weren't nobody there. I mean, the boy even checked the barn. You can ask him. That's the honest truth. I swear. Well, <laughs> stop worrying about it. It'll be along. Thank you. Hmm. Then what happened? I got the feeling little Joe thought that Griffin wasn't going to show up, so he went into Virginia City to look for a new cook. Couldn't be. Yeah. <laughs>
feeling it much quicker in some cases. Uh, swelling and dusky redness, deep state of burning pain, of course, a few hours. Deep discoloration, which spreads through the tissues. Death. Any attempt to save part of the be hopeless. Patient's only chance lies in it. Some lightning. This is a good book, though. It's got everything. No one should explain why the infection runs the course more severely or much quicker to some cases. No one up saying this is his kitchen. I can hear him now. He's yelling out in Chinese.
Come on, youngin. Hey, you better hurry up. We're ready to move out. Oh, yeah. That's all right. You go ahead. Uh... What's wrong? Yeah, Paul just figured somebody ought to drive back Warren Joe so he don't come falling after us with an extra junk wagon. Go ahead, Caddy. We'll catch up with you. Whatever you say. Give my best to Joe. like this. Joe read was entirely correct. Joe's diagnosis was correct, too, even though a bit premature. Amputation is a harsh remedy, but fortunately, due to the infection, he didn't have the strength to do it. But he's young and he's strong. It'll take a while, but he'll be fine. You know, making a decision like that takes more courage than just letting go sometimes, Ben. He's quite a boy. You 
do anything to get out of Roundup with him. 